Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to the Games Cage. Today, and only today, we will be going through World 2 of Super Meat Boy. It's going to be called The Hospital. I'm going to raise a bit of volume for myself. You guys have another volume out, but... So yeah, today we're going to be doing the freaking goddamn hospital. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get we're checked. We're going to get our meats checked. We're going to get our bones crucified. Everything's going to happen. Everything. So yeah, like I said, these worlds are done because I've already played this game before. But we're going to play it again together because I love this game. So let's go. So yeah, World 2 is where... Sorry if I'm going to be looking up because the game is, is... The TV is a little higher up. Uh, so yeah, World 2 is kind of where the difficulty ramps up. Not extremely, but like, this is where the game like starts introducing more of the challenge. Uh, it's not that bad. Ooh, sorry, phone. Yeah, it's not that bad, but like, oh god, damn it. Yeah, so like I said, not that bad, but uh, it starts to show you like, harder mechanics. Okay, and jump, and we got the meat girl. Alright, yep, yeah, so um... Pretty hyped, pretty hyped, pretty hyped. Uh, life is good, man. Life is good. All is, all is fun when you play this game. Okay. So, yeah. This game... You know this game is actually really old? It's about five... Five years old, I think? Maybe less. Maybe more. Because it's one of the first indie... Big indie games. So, essentially the way indie started was like... With Braid. That was the big like... Hey, this is the first big indie game... And the wind. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so essentially, uh, the two first big indie games were Super Meat Boy, um, Braid, God damn it, and uh, Fez, I believe. Those are the three big ones. There's even a documentary, if you guys want to watch it, called Indie Game the Movie. Just really cool. It, it essentially shows you these three developers, and uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah, it essentially shows you these three developers and how they are working on the game and all the struggles they go through. Because indie developing isn't easy. Like, indie developing is actually really tough. Because you have to... One, you're programming by yourself. You're, you're a small team of like two or three people, depending, like, depending on how many actual people you are. So it's actually pretty tough to indie develop because you got to make your own music. You got to make your own work, you gotta do your own shit, you know, like, it's a, it's a whole process being an indie developer, and that's why I respect fuck, yeah, I respect fuck, exactly, that's why I, I, um, I really respect indie developers, because, I don't know, they just do everything themselves, so it's really, a, it's a tough job, I'd love to be an indie developer, I'm actually in, in uh, university now, I'm learning, I'm gonna start soon, like, now it's more like the theory BS classes, but, like, Next year, it's gonna be when I start taking, like, hey, game design class, so... Who knows, guys, maybe I'll be the next indie hit. Maybe I'm gonna... Maybe I'm gonna make a rip-off of this game. Well, I'll call it... I'll call it Super, um... Beef Boys. And it's gonna be, like, these guys at a beach, and they're really, like, buff. And, uh, the point is, like, you gotta smack a volleyball into people's faces. And the more volleyballs you smack into people's faces, the more points you get. And the high score you get is... Is, is reflected. I'm actually having a really good... I should, I should stop saying words. I should I should stop saying freaking words. Oh my god, now it's over. Now I'm never gonna get this. Alright. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Super Meat Boy, one of the first indie games. Pointed that out. Uh, ooh, okay. Bandage Girl is almost it. So yeah, like I said, this world isn't that bad. It gets... I really say it's world... Th ooh. It's world 3 where shit really starts to ramp up. Like, Because this game... Okay, this game is hard. But it's not extremely hard now what gets extremely hard is every world has a second version of it called like i think the dark world or something so it's essentially the same levels but a harder oh god how do i do this one? oh but yeah it's essentially the same levels but a harder variation of them um yeah so like oh fuck yeah essentially those levels uh, are just yeah the same thing different variations and those are the ones that really test your skill. I've actually done all of them except the last world. There's like the bonus world that has a dark world version. Already that world's super hard. The dark world version is just hell on earth. I I haven't beaten it yet. I'd actually like to try maybe to stream that one. Like just, hey, me trying to beat the pink world uh, in dark mode. Yeah, the irony of it is like a really pink fluffy world and it's like one of the hardest in the game. So I find that like very ironic. Funny. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. 
And I'm actually having a sick run here. Holy shit. Like, I've, I've died a few times. I'm not gonna jinx myself, but I've, I'm doing fairly well. Oh, we're almost at... Oh, shit. This is a good run. Okay. And I died. Yeah. Sorry if it's not fun to see me not fail. It'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. Like I said, I'm... Because I've played this game like 10 billion... Not 10 billion. I've played this game like 6, 7 times. So I'm fairly good at it. I mean, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm not, I'm not, it's not like I'm the top five in the world or anything, no. You know what, there's another thing, this game on PS4 has a platinum trophy, and for those of you who don't know, that's like when most games, a lot of games have this trophy where, it's a trophy for getting all the trophies in a game. This game has the real, the probably the dumbest, one of the dumbest platinum trophies I've ever heard of in my life, which is, like, beat every world without dying. Not in a row, but still, like, you gotta beat every world, even the Dark World version of it without dying. And we beat the world, we're gonna do the boss now, so let's go. Oh, let's watch the cutscene together. So this is me, boy. I'm gonna give uh, Dr. Fetus his little voice. Eh, eh. Is he shoving our girlfriend? Where? What the fuck is he doing to her? He's like, he's even charmed as me, boy. He's like, oh, eh, I'm gonna press the button. Oh shit. Oh shit, what's happening? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god, no, 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 oh my god. He broke it. He broke the system. Holy oh, shit. Oh my god, me! Oh. What the fuck? It's Chad! Oh my god, okay. So Chad is the is the second major boss in the game. His stats are over 9,000 and uh, he actually has a lot of HP, so you really have to be- I'm, I'm just joking. You just have to get all the way up. This, uh, this boss isn't that bad. I'm also talking from a perspective of someone who's played this many times, so... First time I did this, I remember it was a bitch. Okay. Oh, am I doing? If I can do this in like, I, okay, I died once, but like, like I'm not, I'm gonna ca not count that really. If I can beat this in, the oh my, God, I beat it in two trucks. Epic run. This video ran for seven minutes. Let's watch. <laughs> He's the, I love this cutscene. It's great. It's great. Oh no! Chad, look at him! He's a little blobby thing! Aww. <laughs> I'm Dr. Fetus! Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Aww! Gushy, gushy! <laughs> oh, what the fuck does this guy want? Oh. I'm stealing your girlfriend! Hmm. But there's this cute little guy here. <laughs> He's adorable! <laughs> Kicked. <laughs> I love it. I've seen this scene like a million times. It's so funny. <laughs> and on that day, I'm not a single fuck. Oh shit, he just. Okay, the way he treats her is really fucked. He just throws her. What the. He's like, fuck. God damn it. Hey, kiss me. Oh, he's gonna give him a blanket. I find that adorable. That cutscene is awesome. Chapter complete. Well, we did it, guys. Holy shit! Oh, my flab. My little, look at that. Look at that little flab there. So we beat World Two in fucking like seven minutes. I'm, I'm giving myself personal props. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. That was World Two. Next time we're gonna be doing Chapter Three, the Salt Factory, where I'm gonna get a little salty, and maybe we'll meet Sonic the Hedgehog. No, we won't. He's not in this game, sadly. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next part when we tackle on more. Peace! Hey everybody, what is up? And thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and share it with your friends. And obviously comment below. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the matter. You can follow us on our Instagrams. I have those two names up there. You can follow us on Twitter. That's where we put all our shenanigans. And obviously you, you can add me on Snapchat, which I'm trying to get like a billion people on. So you got to help me with that initiative. If you like these videos, uh, just click on that little Sonic icon I got there. And it'll send you to our video page where you can check out all the other videos. And hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel and, and want to see more. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you all next time. Peace.